would support the Salvation Army proposal. Vanier fort et Vanier uni. Et peu importe le résultat du vote aujourd'hui, Vanier va gagner. Souvenez-vous de mon fort. Vanier was supported by many. I want to particularly thank the Lower Town community for the maturity in coming forward in opposing the proposal to not replicate the issues that exist today in the bar market. The reason we are here is because a shelter is not permitted use on this proposed location. It is not a permitted use on the main street, and that is clear in our official plan. Nor was it ever considered in the secondary plan for Montreal Road approved in 2014. It is a tragedy that this application came down to a vote of land use grounds, on land use planning grounds. We expect more from an organization that is in existence to help our most vulnerable members, funded by government and public donors. The, applica the applicant could have chosen sites that have, that have a permitted shelter use, which, are, which there are many locations in our city. We then would have not find ourselves in this position. Elle a décidé d'aller de l'avant avec l'approche la plus controversée, la plus coûteuse et la plus divisive. La proposition de l'armée du salut propose un investissement significatif, une dépense capitale que cette organisation qui coûtera cher à la ville, année après année, pour appuyer ce modèle daté. The City of Ottawa, in 2016, spent $4.6 million more to support shelters than what we had planned. This model is draining our resources and minimizing the shift to invest in a lasting solution. Housing. As a government, I think it is important to, op to be open and transparent and to be clear on where gaps are. Although we have housed 350 chronically homeless individuals in six supportive housing projects that are truly decentralized across the city, the reality is that more investment in supportive housing are needed to see a reduction in shelter use. When Council <coughs> approved the 10-year housing and homelessness plan seven years ago, many of you were around to approve the plan and we knew full well that the goal was to decentralize and close our shelters. Let me, let me remind us all of that implication. A closure of shelters to invest in specialized housing projects like those presented by the Mission and Chefs who are decentralizing their services, the Oaks on Maryville, Hope Living in Canada, Lifehouse in Centertown, the decentralization is towards new models. The closure of shelters was planned to be by attrition towards new Decentralized services. Un vote contre la, contre la proposition aujourd'hui ne souligne en aucun temps un doute sur l'armée du salut ou même sur leurs services. Le risque d'institutionnaliser une population est sérieux. Et la question devant nous en est une au sujet du zonage. Il est surtout clair qu'aucun plan approuvé par le Conseil ne permet cet usage sur le principal. The assertion that this proposal contains only 140 shelter beds is ruse and it is insulting. A shelter, according to the definition, means an establishment providing temporary accommodation to individuals who are in immediate need of emergency accommodation and food, and may include ancillary health care, counseling, and social services. The proposal at 333 Montreal Road offers exactly that, temporary accommodations, as it does not offer a home to individuals who would stay in any of the 350 beds to use the temporary nature therefore cannot be under that category. Staff agreed with the important components from the 2008 report. Specifically, staff have agreed that there is a shelter cap of four shelters in Ward 12, and also the separation distances needed between uh, shelters. Page nine of the planning report. However, what they refuse to acknowledge is that there are 12 shelters currently in operations in Ward 12. There are two motels with city agreements for family shelters along Montreal Road, and there are six shelters for women fleeing situation of violence. Not a single delegation spoke in favor of the project could explain why, the thought, why they thought the location on a traditional main street was the best approach. Yes, they were differing opinions on the model, which we were told was outside of the consideration of planning committee. However, nothing was presented that would justify putting 350 shelter beds on a main street. Ma communauté est celle la plus vulnérable et est celle avec le plus faible taux de revenus comparativement aux autres quartiers en ville. Nous parlons souvent au Conseil de l'importance de la diversification économique et démographique. L'erreur est non seulement en matière des plans d'urbanisme, mais aussi au niveau social. L'année a beaucoup progressé. Les initiatives de prévention du crime à Ottawa ont beaucoup aidé à ce sujet, mais nous demeurons à risque. Main streets are the economic lifeblood of our communities. Vanier has worked hard to remove the stigma of criminality that it's haunted its 
since 90s. The diversity is improving, but it is far from being on solid ground. Much attention and efforts are needed, and, and it begins with important attention to Montreal. My community is not afraid of welcoming social services, social services providers. We have many, including one of the eight supportive housing models recently built by the John Howard Society. To no opposition, might I add, those were 42 men who came, 42 men who came from Shepherds of Good Hope. We are afraid that a community with concentrated poverty would jeopardize the healthy reintegration of individuals into active members of our city. Dear colleagues, soyez courageux. A no is not an end. It simply brings the Salvation Army proposal to a halt so that options in terms of location and approach can be considered. My door always has always been open, and my seats are all to work with the Salvation Army, work with the city, work with the community, and work with you to bring forward a solution supported by all. The status quo is a short-term option while we work through the collaboration with the Salvation Army on how to best invest $50 million. If you're a homeless, what you need is a home. Sure, you might need the services that, but that doesn't mean that we should re-institutionalize our most vulnerable in one location. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the issue before us is an emotional.